hi. Introductions first. I am Jessica Paxton, Product Marketing Manager here at Smith AI. And Matthew? My name is Matthew Dufresne. I am the Senior Account Executive from Law Rulers team. Uh, prior to this, I was a consultant for law firms across the country. I helped them manage their intake and marketing process, helping them improve their dollar spend. Great, thank you. So we'll go ahead and pull the slideshow up. Um, and the first thing we will start with is the agenda. Absolutely. Let me go ahead, share my screen, and we'll get started. So we're going to start by talking about why outsourcing is critical to win new clients. We'll go through um, essential features of legal CRM softwares. And that's the part that Matthew's going to handle. He's going to talk a lot about those essential features that you need to better serve your clients and to optimize lead conversions. Then we'll go into some essential features of virtual receptionist services that will help you maximize those marketing efforts so that you're not spending money, you know, mindlessly so that you're actually seeing return on investment. After that, we will go through how Smith AI and Law Ruler work together as we did just finish an integration. And then at the very, very end, we will talk about special discounts for new clients. So if you are a client of Smith AI interested in Law Ruler or vice versa, we'll give you some special discounts at the end. All right, let's go ahead and get started. All right, sounds good. So the first thing we're going to talk about is scaling client work product productively and profitably. So we're going to dive into a little bit about Law Ruler for this. So for those of you who are unfamiliar with Law Ruler, we are a legal CRM and intake management platform that was built with your growth in mind. A lot of people ask why Law Ruler and why do you need a legal CRM? And the whole reason behind this is you need to be able to effectively take any leads that are coming in from your marketing sources. Because marketing, especially in today's day and age with digital marketing being a thing, uh, physical marketing like your billboards, mailers, um, word of mouth um, kind of marketing where it's on the ground level where you're trying to get referrals. You need a place to funnel all of this into and have a very simple and seamless workflow allowing you to take control of that whole process because with this marketing that we're spending all this money on it's very expensive it's normally one of the biggest pieces of overhead that a firm has to worry about is acquiring those new clients you want to make sure you do everything you possibly can to make the most out of that investment you want to capture every dollar every lead that comes through you don't want to let a single one slip through your hands that's where law ruler comes in We've been around for a long time. We've been around since 2010. A lot of you remember the Gulf oil spill. We were actually created for that Gulf oil spill because before then there was no legal CRM to handle that client intake as well as handle the marketing efforts. So our CEO, Dan Jacobs, came in and said, I've got an idea. And he created the first legal CRM on the market. And the attorneys that were handling that case wound up doing phenomenally well. And we've been around ever since. So when we were created, we were definitely built with that growth in mind. Since then, we've been working tirelessly to create a perfect, innovative product for everyone at a very affordable price. And our whole goal at Law Ruler is to equip and empower you with the best technology for fueling your growth. We want to give you the best chance at making the most money. Let's talk a little bit more about how we accomplish that. So the first thing we do to help you accomplish that is our automation. Our automation is some of the best automation on the market. Because right now, a lot of you currently use programs out there that have automation capabilities. What sets us apart is the level of custom tailored content that you can push out to your clients. A lot of automation out there is only a, a simple automation where it's like, hi, Jessica, thanks for contacting Law Firm A we'll be with you shortly or we'll call you shortly. There's no personalization to that. I guarantee every single person in this meeting, in this webinar has gotten a text message or an email that has been that generic and you've ignored it. You've deleted it, you've looked at your phone and you went, well, that's nice. And you threw it down and you didn't even pay any attention to it. And 
right now with the way marketing is going and every marketer, you know, they jump to tell you this, it's all about the customer's journey. You do not want to send generic content because it hurts your customer journey. It hurts your net promoter score. Law Ruler steps in. And when we get a lead in, we can have, we have a few different sets of data that allow you to custom tailor that content, especially when creating that automation. So you instead can say, hey, Jessica, thank you for filling out our website form. Or, hey, Jessica, thank you for filling out our Facebook form. We'll be with you momentarily. Just want to review the information you submitted. It looks like you have a PI case. It looks like you have an SSD case. Love to talk to you more about it. I'll call you from this number. You get that extra level of customization in there and make it look like an actual person wrote it. You would be incredibly surprised at the level of conversion that you start bringing clients in at. You're going to see a, a big increase by making such a small change. And Law Ruler gives you that technology, that automation technology to do that. Now, on the other side of creating that simple and seamless process from start to finish is internal automation. It's not just external because we can do the follow up for you. We can do the outreach. We know we can custom tailor that whole trip campaign. Internally, we can also move a case from start to finish and help your associates along the way. Um, I've helped hundreds of law firms across the country. One of the biggest pain points that I've helped a lot of people deal with is that intake staff gets busy. The office staff gets really overworked and busy. And what happens? Administrative things tend to fall on the back burner. For example, in a PI firm, typically leads have an active follow-up rate of 14 days. After 14 days, a lot of firms say, this is dead to me, I never wanna see it again. So what they'll do is they're supposed to put them in a status so they can track how many leads they've lost that way or send them to a dead lead converter where that other company will work on converting them. The problem is people get so busy and they don't have a right way to track that, they don't know who's been here for 14 days. Law Ruler can actually track that. And part of our automation is we can move the status into a custom status you create because Law Ruler is custom tailored to each one of our clients. So for example, you would have, it could be a new lead as it came in. And then after 14 days, if you couldn't contact them, it could automatically move them to rejected dash did not respond or whichever you, whatever you would like to call it. And it allows you and make sure that you're able to run reports and have the most accurate data possible when talking about your marketing efforts, talking about any of the decisions, the high decisions you need to make. Plus, it also will free up your staff to call back the people with higher conversion rates. New leads younger than 14 days have a much higher rate, a higher conversion rate than those older than 14. So the automation allows you to set that prioritization so you don't have those old leads clogging up your pool. So a lot of fun stuff you could do with the automation and that is just touching the tip of the barrel. There, there is a lot more that we can do, um, just way too much to get into at this specific time, but I always recommend reaching out to me if you have any questions about the automation. I can walk you through, um, I can walk you through any questions you have on that. The next feature that makes us unique is our intakes. Now, a lot of people out there have some kind of intake form. What really sets us apart is the customization of it again. And it's the ability to have custom mapping to where part of our API is if you have web forms with some questions on there, those will all fill out the fields inside of the intake. And to give you a, an idea of why that's so important, this is jumping industries, but I know every single person in here has been in a doctor's office at one point. And they're all starting to go somewhat technology based where they're getting these little tablets. And you have to fill out your information five times, six times, the same information over and over and over and over again in the process. And I know for a fact, it drives everyone absolutely nuts. I hate filling out the same name by name 30 times in one sheet. With Law Ruler, you fill it out once it maps, even they fill it out in the web form, it'll map into Law Ruler and fill this out. Your clients will not have to fill out the same information twice. Your agents will not have to spend the time doing duplicate data entry. Everything maps everywhere in Law Ruler, making it a very good customer experience. Because you want to minimize the amount of time you're on that call. You want to minimize the amount of, inter amount of data entry your potential clients have to do before retaining it. The other side of that is conditional logic. If we take forms out there, let's talk about Social Security Disability. 
or we talk about personal injury, um, such as medical malpractice, they're longer forms or longer intakes. You can use conditional logic to make them a lot shorter. For example, you can say, where you um, for, for SSD, you could say, are you employed? Yes. How much do you make? Are you employed? No. It's not going to ask you any questions about your, previous, about your employment. It's going to skip right past that, making it a much easier uh, form to fill out. We can also trigger automation based off the way they answer questions. Now, this is what really sets us apart because nobody out there has the ability to do this. You can take law ruler and you can say, if the person answers this question and this question or this question this way, then send them this automation. So you can send retainer agreements if it winds up being a good trucking trucker accident. They answered all their questions the right way. It can send out the engagement agreement automatically. It's one of the capabilities we have. Or it can alert the attorney. A lot of attorneys like to know right away when something meets certain qualifications. In PI world, if somebody is in a commercial trucking accident and they lost a limb, those attorneys want to jump on that call as soon as possible. And the conditional logic can inform those attorneys that they have that going on. Now, the next step of this is normally after you fill out that intake form, you're going to want to send them a retainer agreement or a fee agreement. Law Ruler has a one-click e-sign via text and email where as soon as you're done filling out that engagement agreement, you've you qualified them, you're like, great, we'd love to sign you up. Right there on the call, you can just hit a button and it shoots them out an e-sign to their cell phone and their email. A lot of other softwares out there can just send the email. The problem with that is, as I'm sure many of you know, you're going to be sitting there talking with them saying, oh, Jessica, I'm, did you get my email? Uh, no, I don't see it. Oh, well, can you check your spam folder? It's not in the spam folder. Oh, can you check? You're going to be arguing for the next 10 minutes. They're going to get frustrated. They're going to hang up and say, please just send it to me later. Text message. Everybody gets text messages. And with our software, it's also super easy to walk them through it. You just say, hey, go ahead and open it. Click on the giant blue button in the top right-hand corner. And I'll walk you through this. And it's a simple process. It takes seconds to sign people up. It's going to lead to more one call closes, which is the goal for most case types out there. Plus, all of this will automatically come right back into that client's file inside a law ruler, still keeping up with that simple, seamless process. So it makes life very easy to do. Plus, with the automation side of it, if they don't sign it right away, if they do have to go, we'll, our software will do the follow-up for you. Now, Another thing I actually want to touch on, because this is important too with that texting, a lot of texting out there, you see a lot of, I see a lot of these third party apps that these other softwares are integrating with that are not real tech, they're texting numbers, but they're not real numbers. People call those numbers and it's like, this call can't be completed as dialed. In today's day and age, that is a big no-no. If people call that number and they get that messaging, it scares them. It thinks you're fraudulent. It, it really terrifies them. Even if you say, no, this is just a text number. Please call us here. You know, imagine if it was you signing up your disabled mother-in-law for Social Security. If you called them and they got that message and they're telling you, no, 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 I'm legit, it's going to scare you. So with our software, the texting number we give you is a real number. If they call that number, I can forward it right over to Smith so they can take care of everything for you. So talking about forwarding everything over to Smith, one of the other great parts about Law Ruler and keeping everything a seamless process is our integrations. We have an open API. And what that means is we're friendly with everybody out there. And we just built out our new Smith.ai integration. So now we work flawlessly to connect Smith.ai's capabilities directly into Law Ruler, updating everything as soon as they're done talking. So you can take over that interaction without any interruption in the process. So as soon as they're done, you can go ahead and send them a text message. You can get them started. We'll talk more about those capabilities here in a little bit, but it is really amazing. It creates a really seamless workflow because you don't want, a lot of them, you don't want people to know you have an outsourced reception service they don't with Law Ruler. It makes everything such a seamless process, they never know the difference. On the back end of it too, we integrate with so many different practice management softwares, which include, most importantly, our partner companies. We integrate with our sister companies, Cosmolex, TimeSolve, and Rocketmatic. The benefit to everybody here that has Smith AI 
is that now Smith AI integrates with all three of these companies. We act as the middleman. So now Smith AI communicates with us, we communicate with them. You'll be able to get all that data directly into your practice management softwares. So again, because you your tech stack needs to work for you. There needs to be no manual movement between start and finish. You don't want you want as clean as a line as possible because that's what makes law firms successful. It allows you to scale. You cannot scale if you're doing a manual intake where you're writing everything down on a sheet of paper, typing it in downloading that file from your CRM software, uploading it manually into your practice management software. People are going to enter in things wrong. There's going to be data lost. From start to finish, everything goes smooth. And with that being said, I'm going to let Jessica here take over the next uh, few slides. I'm going to let her share your screen. Jessica, you can take over. I'm going to have her talk a little bit more about the sales side of it. Sure thing. Can you see my screen now? All right. Um, so we're going to actually take a step back and look at the entire sales funnel, the entire marketing funnel, because although we could spend all day talking about these small little individual features and um, how to send those emails via the marketing um automation. But really what I want to talk about today is qualifying leads, completing intake, and taking those unqualified leads and turning them into revenue. So right here, we just have that brief overview of the sales funnel so that you can see we've got our qualified, our cold leads coming in, qualified leads. They complete that intake. They're, you're vetting them to make sure they are a right fit for your firm before you schedule that console and then before they are a retained client. So, um, Matthew, feel free to jump in here because I know you have a lot of expertise here too. Um, but there's a few stats that are very, very important and things we really want to talk about. Um, eight, so right here, 82% of consumers expect an immediate response to a sales inquiry. That is huge. And this is why we talk so much about outsourcing and why outsourcing is important. If you're not answering every single call that comes in, if those callers are going into your voicemail and then they're, you're waiting an hour, you're waiting two hours before you can call that lead back, usually that lead's already gone. You're going to have a difficult time connecting back with them after they leave a voicemail. And that's if they do leave a voicemail. We all know as soon as I hear that voicemail box, we just hang up and call the next person on the list. So you really want to think about, you know, when I'm in court or when I'm with another client, who's answering my calls? What am I missing when every time that call rings and it goes to voicemail? So we know for a fact, there's statistics that 67% of consumers choose the firm that they go with based on the initial response, the initial conversation. If that conversation doesn't exist, it's probably not going to go very well. So let's look at some more stats here. Um, one of the, go ahead, Matthew. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll, I'll even talk about that a little bit more too, because it's, yeah. I actually just had an experience of this. My mother-in-law is getting social security disability. And the first attorney that she reached out to, she had a very negative experience in that first, uh, that first conversation. It was very rude to her. I was listening on speakerphone and doing this for a living. I, I was even cringing a little bit. Um, oh. So she, it was pretty bad. But then the next person she called was very friendly, very amazing. Mm -hmm. She's already signed up with that. It's incredible to see that because you also touched on people expect an immediate response. That's right. We live in an instant gratification world. Every single person, I'm the most impatient person out there. Mm -hmm. You know, I can't, I can barely wait in a Burlington line. I, I, I lose my mind um, if I don't have something going on all the time. So we, especially now with Google, you need to answer those calls or send some kind of connection as soon as they call. Because what happens is, there, chances are, they're, even if they saw your ad on TV, they saw your billboard, they Googled you to quickly call that number. When you're Googled, other attorneys come up. 
they'll call you first because they saw your advertisement first. But if you don't answer, they're going to call that next attorney as soon as you're done. And the exactly. next one and the next one until somebody yeah. answers them. So that conversation that you just mentioned um, where you spoke to someone and it wasn't a great experience, you, you don't know what's going on in someone's world. And we're all constantly battling against noise. And that's what this slide is about. Um, whenever you're trying to focus, whenever you're trying to work and provide that customer service, you've got spam calls coming in, you've got sales calls coming in, you've got unqualified leads that are wasting your time. And then you spend so much time answering the phone, you, you just get frustrated and you, you lose focus. And that's a lot of what um, Smith AI can truly help with. When you're outsourcing your SMSs, your calls, your outbound calls, and your chats to a service like ours, to a virtual receptionist service, then you're not getting interrupted. You're not getting those spam calls or you're not seeing those sales calls where the same sales guy calls you three times a day, Matthew calling you three times a day, <laughs> trying to get you to purchase law ruler. I was you don't see any of those. Because I, I'll what? tell you, I, I was just about to talk about that because I will tell you, I've managed SDRs before and their primary role is to call attorneys and you know right. try to get hold of them. I've read, right. I, I can always tell when it's a Smith employee because they're very polite and you never give through to the attorney. <laughs> oh no. There's, no. there's ways that we train to try to get around gatekeepers, but we Smith uh, Smith is really good about it. It's where they'll kind exactly. of exactly frustrating. We are, the, we are the gatekeepers. We are the gatekeepers. Um, one really, really important stat here is on the right hand side. 68% of leads consulted with a firm they didn't hire. So truly think about that. That means you're doing these consultations, but you're not actually, they're not actually hiring you. So why is that? How can we reduce that noise? Can we potentially, you know, change the intake form to ask better questions? Can we potentially, um, change the way that we do lead um, qualification to make sure that we're only consulting with those truly qualified leads. Now, when go ahead, Matt. Sorry, I was going to chime in because on the other part too, in Law Ruler, we can even help with that to where after Smith takes that call, after you yep. vet them, if they don't hire you, you can actually send them a uh, questionnaire and ask them uh, for a survey. You can say like, hey, because you didn't hire us, uh, you know, can you tell us a little bit more about why? Right. And you, know, right. you can you can find out a lot of internal data, run reports on that. Right. So before we move on, there was a question in the chat um, whether or not we're recording this. Yes, we are recording this immediately um, after the webinar today. Once I get that recording back, I'll email it out to all of the attendees, and it'll also be posted on YouTube within a few days. Okay, so attracting the right clients isn't the first problem you need to solve. The first problem you need to solve is looking at your marketing cost of acquisition and your return on investment. So we're gonna look at this and we're gonna find leaks somewhere in our funnel. So this is an example, and I'll also have a blank one for you to fill out if you'd like to. But as an example, we can track all of these conversion metrics, we can track the cost and the revenue, and we can see our return on investment. So if we have 1000 website visitors, these are nice round numbers, so that we can easily see for an example. And those 1000 website visitors cost us $5,000, then we know it's $5 per visitor. Let's say 80 of those visitors are leads, and then 40 of them are qualified. So then we get down to $125 per opportunity. Moving down a little bit further, let's say 40 of those qualified opportunities turn into consultations and 10 of those turn into retained clients. When you're looking at your entire funnel and how much money you're spending and how much investment return on investment you're getting, 
this exercise will help you find where you might have leaks in your marketing funnel. So for example, if you have 20 consultations, but only 20 or 30% of those are turning into retained clients, then you may want to look at doing some additional sales training or how to um, increase the number of consultations that are being turned into retained clients. So as I said, on the next page, there's a blank chart for you here. If you want to go through it and um, look at what you're spending versus what your return on investment is. Now, this will be emailed out after the webinar, so you'll have that for you. Well, real quick before we go on yeah. to on the previous slide, when you're filling this out, think about how difficult it is for you to get these numbers. Think if you have a hard time doing it. Law Ruler can actually do this in seconds. Law Ruler can take all of these conversion mm -hmm. metrics. You can track your marketing costs inside of Law Ruler. And we can give you an ROI with a click of a button on any of your marketing sources. We can even narrow it down to UTM codes, where if you have Facebook, but you have mm -hmm. five UTMs leading to Facebook, we can narrow it down to which one of those UTMs are most profitable and what the ROI is on those. You can even track what, who took care of them. So your intake reps, which intake rep is converting the most. So right. while you're filling this out, take, uh, see how hard it is for your firm to do that. And realize that a, like a software like ours can really equip and empower you with the ability to have that information in seconds. Absolutely. And before anyone starts throwing more money at marketing, make sure you have these stats. You truly need these stats so that you can see where your money is going and exactly how much you're spending per lead and per client. You need these stats and your marketing company needs these stats because that's another thing. Yeah. You can schedule reports to your marketing company directly because if those numbers aren't good, all they see is I, I'm sending them a thousand leads. I got them a thousand website views. I'm doing, I'm a rock star. I'm, I'm doing really good. You guys should pay me more money. Mm -hmm. When in reality, you're rejecting five, uh, like 75% of those leads. They need to change their keywords. Exactly. Exactly. I know we talked a little bit about this earlier, but it is important enough that it has its own dedicated slide. 67%, that is two thirds of clients base their decision to hire on a firm's initial responsiveness. Okay. So if you do not answer that call, there's going to, you know, they're going to go somewhere else. Um, the other interesting stat here, two thirds of customers who receive excellent service spend up to 14% more. If they like your service, they will spend more money with you. They will also refer other clients to you. And referral clients are way easier to get than clients from your um, Google search or your Facebook ads or your billboard ads or something like that. All right, so like we said, know your funnel and know where you need to plug those holes first, okay? So there is a lot, a lot going on in this slide, but just bear with me for a minute. Um, so right here on the left-hand side, you've got all your lead sources, and then they're going to go into... Um, they can go into your law ruler or they can go to Smith AI to answer your calls. Um, these people can text you. They can chat with you on the website. There's all these different funnels, but you want to make sure that all of those funnels are connected together so that if someone were to call and talk to a Smith AI agent, that shows up in your legal CRM, or if they chat, that shows up in your legal CRM, or if they text message, that shows up in your legal CRM. So you get like a nice holistic 360 view, okay? Now you can answer phones, emails, texts, website chats, all on your own. Let's say you're owner operator and you're a very, very small company and you want to hold on to those. You can do that. But once you start getting to the point where you're answering a call and you're a little bit frustrated because you got interrupted while you were doing something else, or you don't have time to answer that call because you're in court or you're with another client, 
then it's time to start looking at outsourcing, especially if you're not quite um, large enough or if you don't have quite enough work to warrant hiring an in-house assistant or an in-house staff. Um, we're going to talk in a little bit about the intake process because the intake process is extremely important to qualification, to making sure the leads that come in and those leads that get consultations are leads that you actually want to interact with. Now, you'll notice at the bottom here, we have bad leads and referrals. What, um, what that means is when we're doing the intake and a lead might say, oh, well, I have court tomorrow. You can't do that. You're booked tomorrow. So you can take that lead, refer them to someone who can help them. And you've got a happy, not quite a happy customer, but someone that had a really positive experience with your firm. You know, you didn't just say, oh, I can't help you go away. You helped them in a way, even though you're referring them to someone else, you did help them. And when you do that, you know, you're still possibly going to get that really good Google review. You can even ask for that really good Google review. Um, and and um, you can refer them out that way. So let's go to the next slide. Or just get real quick on another nope. slide before we head yep. over. Um, this is something that I'd like to talk about because you had mentioned um, hiring, you know, versus like hiring in house versus hiring Smith. So that, yeah. that's part of what I helped, what I've helped a lot of law firms with in the past. A lot of people only look at the of the cost of hiring a new intake rep or hiring a new assistant in house to do it. They only look at the cost per hour or the salary that's on that. The problem with doing that is there is a huge opportunity cost that you, a lot of attorneys don't factor in. Because what happens is you have to train them while you're, when you're spending time training, you're not answering calls, you're not focusing on the documents you have to do, you're taking time away from your work that makes you money. Even after you're done training them, they're gonna they're going to mess. Everybody does, it's human error. And even if you hire somebody that's really experienced, they're not experienced with your workflow. When you're hiring somebody that's on Smith's side for a fraction of the cost, it's they're already trained. They already have these people staffed up. They're not they they have a pool of people they can choose from that are ready to go you're not you're not you're not occurring any of those opportunity costs it's it's not only cheaper financially just based on the hourly difference or the salary difference it, it, you're also saving that added opportunity cost right it's, it's extremely important to, to realize when making that decision mm -hmm. and when you're looking at hiring a virtual receptionist you really want to look at are they 24 7 do they answer calls on holidays? That sort of stuff as well. Because I mean, we do, we are 24 seven, 365. Whereas if you hire an assistant, they may not be, they may exactly. only be eight to five. Um, and like you said earlier, this is the age of instant gratification. Um, you know, I call someone at 6 PM and I at least expect someone to answer and to talk to me. Even if that may not be the lawyer or the plumber or the, you know, the salesperson, I can at least get basic information and say, hey, I'm interested in this. You know, what, what's my next step? And they'll tell you, okay, well, the next step is I'll have someone reach out tomorrow or fill out this intake form or whatever that next step looks like. So, yeah, um, Yep, I do want to talk a little bit about um, creating the ideal intake, because this is an opportunity to um, really refine that funnel that you have and to make sure that every lead that you're interacting with is a qualified lead. If you put an intake form on your website and all it says is name, email, and a big box to tell me your life story. That's going to be a lot of manual stuff that you're going to have to go through. You're going to have to call them back. If they answer, you're going to have to get all this additional information. Whereas your intake could be very, very specific. It could say things like, um, do you have a court date? What's the name of the opposing party? Again, like I said earlier, this simple question of, do you have a court date and when is your court date can help you qualify leads. They say their court date is tomorrow and you're on vacation, then you know that this lead isn't quite right for you. 
The other great thing about um, putting this type of information in your web form on your intake is when you're asking this type of information, the client's going to look at it and they're going to say, oh yeah, this guy knows what he's talking about for sure. Um, because they don't just want name and email. They want to know, are there children involved? You know, have you reached out to your insurance company? All those types of questions that really stand apart as you as the expert. So you can also go ahead, Matt. So I, I have a lot of experience with this too from like mm -hmm. web development perspective. So you're going to, a lot of your, mar, uh, maybe after this meeting, you're going to bring this up to your marketing team. Your marketing team is going to say, listen, don't do that. It's going to hurt your conversion rates. It's going to hurt your um, your capture rate for leads. It, if they throw back that, that response to you, Law Ruler can help in that regard to where let's say, okay, you know, Ms. Mar, you don't want to make the changes. I get it. You know, name, email, cell phone, we can do that. Law ruler, as soon as that lead comes in, can shoot them out a questionnaire in their text message or email, and they can fill out the rest of the information once they get it. Because you'll capture them. Sometimes it's right where the name, people sometimes do just want to fill out name, email, cell phone. And that if your marketer suggests that, you know, you can say like, listen, you don't want to change it. I get that. Law ruler can, after you've already captured that lead so you can market them, law ruler can send them the more in-depth questionnaire right to their cell phone. The reason that's a little bit more effective is because you already got their leads. So they've already committed. And now you're committing them even further, which is nice because if they're spending time filling out that intake questionnaire, they're not calling the other attorneys because they're, they're spending time on their phone. They're like, oh, I got to answer this. Let me look for the information. It's not going to turn them away. It's not going to reduce your conversion rates. It's not going to hurt in any way, shape or form. It, like Jessica said, it, it makes you look like the expert on the situation. That's absolutely right. Um, and another thing that we see a lot um, that is successful is combining your intake with um, booking a consultation. So what that might look like is um, you're going to book your consultation. And whenever you have that scheduled, um, that scheduled software, you can add and take questions to it. Or you can have someone um, answer the intake questions first, decide they're a qualified lead, say, yes, this is a lead that I want to do a consultation for and that I'm interested in, and then send them the calendar link so that they can book a meeting with you. So what's great about Law Ruler is they um, sync with Google and Outlook and all of those calendars. Well, so do third parties like Calendly or Doodle. So with these, you can set up um, your calendar. You can say, this is my availability. Don't book anything that I'm not available for so that you still have some control over your calendar. And then say they book the consultation on Calendly. That will then sync over to your Google or Outlook, which will then also sync over into Law Ruler. So you'll see it there within your Law Ruler calendar as well. Um, the other thing that we do here at Smith AI, um, we put our calendar links in our email signature. And you can use a tool like Ystamp to do that as well. Matthew, do you have anything to add about the calendar? Because I know we didn't talk about that. Um, you didn't so talk about that earlier. No, absolutely. So we we actually directly integrate with one of them called Appointlet. So oh, yeah. one we do. So Appointlet's a direct integration. We do integrate with the calendars no matter what kind. You can have Apple Calendar. Mm -hmm. We still integrate with it. Exactly. Um, plus your emails. But with Appointlet, it takes it a step further. It'll actually assign it to that lead that scheduled the calendar event. So what you can also do is a lot of people have it in the workflow where they segment this out. They'll fill out mm -hmm. a contact form. Contact form will come into Law Ruler. The law ruler mm -hmm. will send a text in the email saying, hey, to go ahead and get started, please complete, please uh, fill out this intake form to get a head started. Love to learn more about your case. They fill out the intake form, submit it. Law ruler's automation takes it a step further again and sends out that appointment link. They schedule exactly. the appointment, comes back into the system. They're all set to go for that, for that new consultation. You haven't spent any money um, as far as like manually reaching out to them. It's all automatic, mm -hmm. and then we'll even send appointment reminders. You'll even be able to track if they missed their appointment, how many missed appointments you have. You can mm -hmm. run those kind of reports. So there's, there's a lot that we can do with this. Right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right.
Um, so the next thing we're going to talk about is a little bit about chat. I'm not going to go into a lot of detail, um, but just know that this is another way that you can have lead qualification. You can set up a chat bot on your website. We do have a free chat bot at Smith AI. Um, and you can do lead qualification right there on your website. One thing to really think about, um, depending on your practice, is people may not be in a situation to call you on the phone. Let's say it's something they don't want to say out loud. They don't want to say in front of their kids or their spouse, but they want to communicate with you. By doing um, a chat bot or having SMS services, text services, then you can still um, have those leads coming through the lead funnel, but without having to call you. So that's just something really briefly that I wanted to talk about. And obviously there's some slides here about millennials, me, would rather um, converse via text than voice. And I am part of that 52%. Um, all right, so the next thing we're going to talk about, this is another part of the lead funnel, um, is not giving up too soon. So what this graph is showing you is, let's say, for whatever reason, you are trying to reach out to a potential lead. Keep calling them, because the number of attempts is going to increase the likelihood of them converting, okay? If you call one time and you give up, then they're probably not gonna convert. But if you call two times, you can see here in the graph, that percentage goes up very, very, very high. It almost doubles. Um, so just make sure you're not giving up too soon. I know it's hard. I This is something I struggle with personally is making those callbacks. Um, I don't like doing it because I have a fear of rejection, but you have to, you really have to. And when I say six here, it could be calls, it could be emails, it could be text messages. However, you want to have that conversation, just don't give up too soon because those leads are still quality leads. And Matt, I know you talked a little bit about that earlier, um, about setting up, you know, the marketing funnel in Law Ruler to reach back out to those leads. Absolutely. And it's, the thing is, because a lot of times attorneys are busy, so are the intake staff, mm -hmm. the new incoming calls. So a lot of this stuff falls in the back burner and law firms lose about 10% possible conversion rates or theoretical mm -hmm. conversion uh, ratings that, that they never capitalize on. And, you know, they'll say like after three days, they just, just don't follow up anymore. The problem with that is if you look at any Fortune 500 trainings, the Fortune 100 uh, trainings and all these places, it's all the same thing. All their sales training is call, 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 call. It's and law ruler. Law ruler, we have a we have a built-in dialer. You can you can actually schedule these callbacks. Uh, it's pop up on your dialer automatically, so nobody ever forgets, and you can set it to whatever frequency you want. Like PI attorneys, for example, the successful yep. campaign is instantly call them back one day, three day, five day, seven day, ten right. day, and so on and so forth. You send them an email and a text. Sometimes you email, text, and call. And all these touches lead to that conversion because it's it's not just like mm -hmm. like you know Jessica said it'd be awesome if everybody converted on the first call. Uh, that's just not realistic, unfortunately. There's a little bit of sales involved there. Right, right. And if you're one of hospital. those people, if if you don't have time or if you're not comfortable making those callbacks, again, outsourcing you can get someone like Smith AI to do that for you. All right, so we've talked about law ruler and benefits of having a legal CRM. We've talked about the marketing funnel and different things to look at before you start spending a ton of money on marketing to make sure that you're actually capturing leads that are relevant to your business. And now we're going to talk about how to connect Smith AI and law ruler. Um, so the, at this point, you know, if you have both systems, you can go ahead and connect them together. If you don't have both systems and you just want to see how they work together, then I'm going to go through that too. So initially setting up the integration between Law Ruler and Smith AI, 
Um, we do have a help doc. I will put it in the chat and make sure that you guys have it afterwards. I'll email it out. But the first thing you have to do is you log into Law Ruler, you go to the setup page, and then you click on the third party integrations page, which is right here in the middle. Once you get to the third party integration page, all you'll need is your API key and your endpoint URL. Your endpoint URL, as you can see, is specific to your Law Ruler instance. So you'll want to make sure to copy both of those down. Then you log into your Smith AI dashboard. This is a screenshot from the Smith AI dashboard if you're not one of our clients. Um, and you click on the integrations tab on the left hand side. And then you'll scroll through our integration list until you find Law Ruler. Once you find that, you click on it and it brings you to this page. Put in your two pieces of information that you collected from the Law Ruler CRM from that settings page and hit connect Law Ruler. That is all you have to do. It takes maybe two minutes to set up the integration. Now, once you have the integration set up, it's going to do quite a few different things. After every call that Smith AI handles on your behalf, it will create a new lead for that caller if they don't exist in your Law Ruler account. And if you're familiar with Law Ruler, that's going to be in your inbox. It will match callers with existing contacts or leads that are already in your Law Ruler, Law Ruler CRM. Then the integration will add call details to the notes section of that contact or lead. So the notes section and the call details, if you're not familiar with Smith AI, those call details are the name of the caller, their phone number, duration of the call, a full call summary of what transpired on that call. So our agents will write out a full call summary with all of the details of everything that happened on the call. And then lastly, it will also add the activity to your Law Ruler newsfeed. So let's actually see what that looks like. Um, if you're a Law Ruler customer, you've seen this page before. This is the notes field. So as you can see, it's got all my information here, phone number, email address, address, and that call summary. Just for the sake of the screenshot, this call summary is very, very short. Typically they're much more inclusive all right, and this is an example um, showing you the full page and you can see this particular caller called twice, Max called twice. So he actually has two note entries, one from each call. Any questions so far? All right, the next thing we'll talk about is how to forward calls from Law Ruler into Smith AI. So you can forward calls from your voice over IP system or your phone system. But if you're using Law Ruler as call tracking and you're using those marketing sources because you really wanna track that entire funnel, then you would forward your calls from the actual Law Ruler system. So to do that, same setup button, but instead of third-party integrations, you'll actually click on marketing sources and call tracking numbers. Now, Matt, let me know if you want to jump in here and say anything, um, but these are all of your lead and marketing sources. You can add new ones. You can um, delete the ones you're not using. But the other thing the Law Ruler lets you do is you can have a tracking phone number. And then you can forward that tracking number to your Smith AI um, phone number. So in this example, this is my Smith AI phone number. Even if you forward them all to the same Smith AI phone number, because you've got that tracking number, it'll know exactly how that um, caller came in as long as you're using those tracking numbers. So to set that up, what you'll do is you'll click on the edit button next to your lead source that you want to forward to Smith AI. Then you'll click on tracking numbers in the top screenshot. In the bottom screenshot, you'll click the edit button to edit that particular tracking number. You can have multiple tracking numbers 
per campaign if you'd like. And then you'll get a pop up. This is where you put in your Smith AI phone number. You'll forward it to Smith AI and you'll want to uncheck allow calls to ring into the soft phone. So Law Ruler does have its own soft phone. By unchecking this, you won't get those spam calls. Smith AI will get those spam calls. And that's it for the integration. Um, Matt, did you have anything you wanted to add there? No, it's nothing I really have to add. That's the nice thing about Law Ruler and our connect and our Smith's connection is just simple. No headache. It is very simple. That's right. All right. So let's now talk about um, the part where are you interested in Law Ruler and Smith AI? How do you get those discounts? Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put a poll up. So if you are interested in learning more about either Smith AI, Law Ruler, or both, Go ahead and answer that. And while you guys do that, I'm going to let Matt talk about Law Ruler. Absolutely. So let's talk about the pricing for Law Ruler. So we've got a few different packages to fit everybody's needs, um, just like our software is custom tailored to each client. So is our pricing. So we offer something like the Pro Package for somebody who's not doing as many not doing as much advertising, doesn't need too many automations really just needs a place to house their leads or integrate with Smith and just have a nice, easy place to grab everything and then do manual callbacks and manually follow up. That allows you to get in the door for $199 a month. That includes up to three users. And then any additional user you have is $59 a month. There is a one-time onboarding fee of $399 for our first two packages. What that onboarding fee gets you is we will create the portal for you and then we'll train you on how to set everything up. We offer four different trainings through an onboarding manager who will hop on a Zoom call with you and guide you through those trainings to make sure you and your team are as familiar and knowledgeable about Law Ruler as possible. Bumping that up to premium at $249 a month, you get quite a few more automations in there. This is one of our most popular packages. This gives people almost everything they need if you're a small and medium-sized business or firm. This will allow you to hop in and and just send up all the automations you need, run all the reports you're gonna need. This has all the marketing reports on it. it it'll give you a lot, all the tools you're gonna need to be successful. And the price point is very affordable at $249 a month. And then any additional use you have is $69. Pumping up to enterprise. Oh, sorry, go ahead. No, I was gonna say, we've got to zoom through this. We're almost out of time. Oops, sorry, but I saw zoom through enterprise, really 10 user minimum, but you do get your own personal account manager. That's the biggest benefit with that is you get that old fashioned level of support. They're going to help you set everything up for enterprise. You know, we'll take care of the whole portal setup. We'll do your intakes, integrations, mm -hmm. the whole nine yards. Absolutely. Um, so I'll let you guys read this when we send out the slideshow. If you are interested, you can go to lawruler.com and schedule a demo. I've also got Matt's email on the last slide if you want to email him directly. And he is willing to offer half off new client onboarding. Okay, so a little bit about Smith AI. Um, we're the most sophisticated receptionist backed by AI. So we'll elevate small businesses with exceptional service and unparalleled efficiency. We are an omni-channel solution. So what that means is we'll do your inbound calls, outbound calls, SMS messages, Facebook messages, and website chat. Um, there are bundles where you get better pricing if you buy them in a package or you can buy them a la carte. We're gonna zoom right past all this because we are running out of time. If you are interested in trying out Smith AI, if you're a Law Ruler customer, um, we do have a promo code to get $100 off. And that promo code is in the slide deck. You can contact us at our website, smith.ai. And, or you could email us at hello at smith.ai. And lastly, I'll leave you with our contact information. That way, if you have any questions, you can reach out to both of us I will send out the slide and the recording after the webinar. But if you have any questions, I would love to open it up for Q&A. Um, so if you have any questions, please do put them in the chat. We'll be able to answer um, any questions that you might have. 
pull back up my, there we go, there we go. Any questions at all? These questions can be about Law Ruler, Smith AI, automation, marketing. Hey, Jessica, I love your shirt. Where did you get it? Glad you asked, Marshalls. Can't go wrong with the shopping trip to Marshalls. <laughs> All right, does anybody have any questions at all before we go ahead and segue to the end? Now's the best time to ask. Oh, we got one from Nikita Wolf. Uh, she asked uh, for you, for Smith AI, I already have Smith AI for answering my calls, but who do I speak to about upgrading to you guys actually handling my intake to? Okay, so you can have your account manager um, reach out to you. If you don't know who they are, not a problem. I will have them reach out to you. I've got your name and your information, so I can make sure that's taken care of. Great. You're very welcome. Yeah, intake is definitely one of the things you want to have. It's, it's well worth it. All right, any other questions? All right. Okay. Well, I'm going to hang out for two more minutes to see if there's any questions. Yes, find me on LinkedIn. Oh, I'll put my LinkedIn in the um in the chat for you. LinkedIn always makes it hard to find people if if you're not connected to them. They're like, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, it is. <laughs> I've been found. That's it. You've been found. <laughs> well, if you found him, then you should have found me because we're connected. <laughs> we're all connected. Oh, web. All right, everyone. Um, thank you again so much for coming. I hope you found this webinar valuable. If you have suggestions for webinars, please do email me. Um, we're always trying to do new content and let us know what you're interested in seeing. Greatly appreciate your time today. And thank you as well, Matt. You're welcome. I've enjoyed being here. Thank you everyone for coming.